Hi everyone, in this video we are going to set up a Metasploitable 2 machine in VirtualBox and before that a short disclaimer that this video is made available for information and education purpose and we are not supposed to use it for any illegal or malicious activity. So in installation of Metasploitable 2 in VirtualBox the purpose to show this is that and in, in future videos, in some of my videos, we will be discussing that uh, how we can use Metasploit. So we will have two machines, one, virtual machines. One of them is Kali Linux and second one is Metasploitable. So in Kali Linux machine, we have a framework that is known as Metasploit. And Metasploit is a pen testing platform that is used to find, exploit and validate vulnerabilities very important thing we will be learning and for that we will be using a metasploitable 2 machine and this metasploit 2 machine is a vulnerable linux machine and that is used to and it's very effective uh, security training tool so with this we can have uh, we can use certain tools to find out the weaknesses on this machine that is already vulnerable and in this way we will be learning something about ethical hacking and now for uh, creating these two virtual machines in virtual box first we need to download these virtual machines so for that for kali linux we have here we are on this website which i'll be sharing in the description section so this link will be there and for downloading this kali linux mach virtual machine for uh, virtual box you can see we just have to go there here we have to click on virtual box and this is the link which i'll be downloading because i have this 64 bit machine so this has started downloading hopefully you can see and in the same way for metasploitable 2 machine we have this link which again i'll be sharing in the um in the description section so i'm going to download and this is for the description that metasploitable 2 linux is an intentionally vulnerable linux virtual machine and this can be used to conduct security training test security tools and practice common penetration testing techniques and the default login and password is msfadmin and never expose this vm to an untrusted network use a net or host only if you have question uh, what that means then you can contact this one but uh, i have discussed in some of my videos what what they mean so i'll put the description uh, of i mean i mean i'll put the link of that video in the description section as well and so just we have to download it so we click there and then this is in the meta exploitable 2 machine so just click there and it will also start downloading right so this depends on my internet speeds and how much time it will take but once this is downloaded i'll i'll show you that how we can import these virtual machines in in the virtual box okay now this is the virtual box i have here and first i'm going to import the kali linux machine and say for this just i have to click on here import or you can maybe go from file and then you can click on import appliance uh, appliances and then here you just click here on this folder button downloads folder so we are going to select this one here so they, these are the different ones i'm going to hide them so this is the dot ova file which i downloaded today so just click there and say open and then we have to maybe move it up so here we have a next button there click there next and then you have to give the base folder so i'm going to select my d drive here because i don't want my c drive to get full so for this i'm selecting d drive only and then this is the name which is by given by default given to me i'm keeping that name and then just click import and these are some of the setups we can see by default this has been selected for us and we can of course change it later for example cpu to and ram and these all things are, are editable afterwards so network adapter is this and then we just click import whatever by default settings are there i selected them and then we have to agree with the uh, agreement and now this has started importing this it may take some time and this and this machine will be imported on our in our virtual machine so maybe i'll pause this video once this is complete i'll be back
and once this import is complete you can see you will have something like this here and then you have to go on the right hand side where we have the start button you just click there and now your Kali Linux virtual machine will start and maybe you can so this is starting this may take few more moments this of course depends on my computer so speed is coming maybe it takes few time so by default so Kali is there by default use and password is Kali and password is Kali right and then maybe also here go to view and then we can also switch to full screen mode I can see this Kali machine is ready so first machine is ready now let us install Metasploitable 2 machine and for this as uh, I have already downloaded Metasploitable 2 that is in my, that is in my uh, downloads folder but this uh, file is a, basically a zip file so let me show you there so here you can see this is in zip uh, format so I have to unzip it and for this I'm going to right click here and I have already seven zip and with this I'm going to extract these files right and say okay so now this has started extracting these files and you can see this new folder is there so once this this is complete we can start and uh, we can start installing this metasploitable 2 in virtual box right so you can see this is the new folder this unzip folder here and now let's go back to our virtual box here this virtual box and now for installation of this metasploitable 2 machine here we are going to click on new and when we click on new we have to give this machine a name so let's give it the same name metasploit metasploitable and 2 so metasploitable 2 machine this is the name we have given to it and then type of machine so this is the linux type and that version that will be ubuntu 64 so we have to select this option and then we have to click next and now this is the memory size so select the amount of memory we can increase or decrease the memory size with this but uh, i'm not going to touch it so whatever by default setting is that will be good for me at the moment so and later on we can change of course this memory size and then say next and here this is important step that here we are not creating a virtual hard disk now but we are going to use an existing virtual hard disk file which we have downloaded and that's available in my downloads folder right so we are going to click there and now we have to verify the path so for this i'm going to click on this folder and then i have to add that path so where we have this that is there in my downloads folder here and then in this folder if we click there we have this metasploitable to linux and then this is the file which we need to give path so that is metasploitable.vmdk i'm going to click there and then click open and here you say choose and then we have this uh, we have to create it so we just have to create this virtual machine and now once we are done with that we just have to click on this start button and this will start bringing up this metasploitable 2 virtual machine in our virtual box environment so i'm going to maximize this screen like here this one so that I can see big screen there and this is uh, uh, starting it it will take some time to load everything for us so metasploitable 2 machine is getting ready and uh, we still need to wait and this you can see here we have this metasploitable login and then meanwhile I can click on view and I can say in full screen mode and maybe I close this so now we are in full screen mode and you can see metasploitable 2 machine is ready and now it's asking for the login credential so that is m s f a d m i n m s f admin so they are by default so who have whosoever has created this machine they has they have said this so m s f admin and the password is m s f a d m i n same password and now you can see we are there at m s f admin right so my exploitable machine is ready for us and now let's see here and if you want to minimize it you want to see the virtual the the, the kali linux which we just installed uh, not installed but we imported that virtual machine so this i'm going to so uh, at the bottom you have this you can see we have this meta exploitable too and now i'm going to minimize it like 
here and then you can see here we have this uh, virtual box and here we have both of the machines so i'm going to uh, so here here we have this kali and so we have both of the machines ready kali as well as more meta exploitable and now again click there at the bottom and now we want to connect them and for that we are going to create a virtual adapter for them and for creating that virtual adapter we have to go here in the file so we go to file here and then we click on preferences and once we are in preferences we have to click on network and the network we have to create a network net network so network address translation networks and to create that we have to click on this here add new net now this has been added and if you want to edit settings here we can just click here so with this we can edit the selected net network and here we can give it any name so for example here i'm going to give it a name like network and maybe 20 any any name you can give it and then these are the dhcp settings and it's 10.0.2.0 so let's say we can change like uh, we want to give some other we want to use some other ip addresses there for our virtual machine so i can say like 192.168.10.0 so now dhcp will be selecting ip addresses from this range and then this is uh, okay supports dhcp we enable this and we are not enabling ipv6 and then we click ok and then we click ok so now we have created this uh, network net network and now i'm going to join both of these machines with that and for that uh, i'm going to select meta exploitable 2 here click there and then you go to setting and then you click on network and here you have to select the network which you just created that was net network right here click there and then you have this network 20 and then press ok so this has been connected with that and now for the Kali Linux machine as well we have to like do the same thing select Kali and then go to setting and go to network and here you have this net you have to select net uh, net network this one and then you have to select the network which you created so that was network 20 and click ok okay now both of the machines are connected with the network we created now we just have to uh, show them here like this is the Kali Linux machine and then also we have this machine let me click there this is the second machine this is our meta exploitable this one and now once they are connected we want to verify their IP addresses for this I am going to write if config press enter and this is showing the uh, old IP address so maybe we have this um, command that is sudo dhcl int dh client with this it will be getting IP address uh, from from the DHCP and now if we run again this command that is if config and then you can see now this time it has received a new IP address that is within the range which we selected 192.168.10.5 right so now this has got the IP address from DHCP let's go to our um, Kali Linux and for this we have this Kali Linux machine here and then we can go to terminal launch terminal and verify the IP address let's see IF config and this has already given, got IP address from DHCP so that is 10, 192.168.10.4 and that uh, meta exploitable 2 was dot five. So I'm going to ping from here the meta exploitable machine. So I'm going to ping 192.168.10.5. Remember, this is the IP address of meta exploitable 2 machine. And press enter. You can see that we are getting reply from meta exploitable 2 machine. So this is dot five, and that is uh, this Kali Linux is dot four. This is the IP address for Kali Linux. And maybe if you want to verify from meta exploitable 2 machine as well, then we can again go here and then we will have this one and we can show the ping command and ip address of our kali linux machine that is um, 192.168.10.4 so this is this meta exploitable is dot 5 and kali linux is dot 4 so press enter 
and you can see we are getting reply from that machine so now these two machines are ready these machines are connected with each other and then once they are connected we can use them for our future labs and one more thing which i want to show you is that for example this uh, if we open browser and if the browser if we write any website for example google.com so we should be able to access our internet because we are using an AP service network address translation yeah? so maybe in our some of the experiments we need connectivity to this one then maybe we can get connected to that like uh, if I show you then you can see we are also able to browse from our Kali Denis machine so this is the setup which we might be using in our future labs where we will be working or we'll be exploring further about Metasploit framework available at Kali Denis machine and thank you thank you very much for your time hope to see you in some other video